a 20 year children's show has been canceled. Now I don't speak children's shows cause I don't have kids yet and I haven't been one for a while, but apparently Caillou was a big deal. And apparently Caillou got into the nerves of a lot of parents. <laughs> Are you all right? I fell off the seesaw. <laughs> He's such a whiny little jerk. <laughs> I get to bring back so many memories right now. I cannot stand him because both my kids grew up with this little poop head. I mean, he's just a just an awful, spoiled little brat. <laughs> I mean, he's so self-consumed. And his mother... He's, like, like, he's five. His, oh, He's just a whiny, just, oh, he's terrible. And he's a little sister that he terrorizes. And he's just awful. If my if I had a five-year-old like this, I would just send him off to military camp, like, right away. He's terrible. He is a terrible, spoiled brat. Do they make military? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I would question a lot of life if I had a little five-year-old like that. Seska says also on uh, on Instagram, Twitter, she commented on our feed that uh, Caillou has been banned in her house. <laughs> oh, my God. We hated that one. <laughs> he is just terrible. I don't get it. Now, the, 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 my kids loved it. I don't know why they loved it so much. He's like, oh, he's always like getting into trouble and like being a little, <laughs> a little bitch to his sister. I mean, he's just terrible. <laughs> Jenna says that Caillou is literally the worst. He invokes rage every time I had to sit yes. through that show. Yes. And his mother is a gosh darn saint, right? No, I thought you were going to say. Oh my God. <laughs> his mother is like so calm with him. She never loses her poop. She's just like all of his little like, outbreaks and his little temper tantrum she ne she's like the coolest i don't know what drug that woman is on <laughs> she's just like not real well there was a change.org petition that like parents started signing it didn't get too much traction but like a parent actually si started a change.org petition to get caillou off the air pbs you know made the announcement yesterday but then i went back through and i did a little caillou research there were parents in like 2015 and 2016 online who were posting how to get caillou banned on your netflix account <laughs> Apparently, if you reached out to Netflix customer service and you oh asked God. specifically to block Caillou, they would do it. <laughs> I can't take it another minute. <laughs> It's amazing. Oh my God. Well, I, I, but when we were pre prepping for the show and I didn't have time to pull it, if you go to Twitter and search Caillou and seeing some of the tweets of the parents that are posting up clips of him being just a, a little piece of poop, um, if you're not familiar with him, you'll laugh all day. Like there's one of him, like his sister's just been born and he goes over and like pinches her ear and the baby, you know, starts screaming and, and Caillou's mom comes up, Caillou, you can't do that to your sister. I mean, give me a break. I would have the kid by the arm and put him in a little timeout at, at the very least. <laughs> Where does the name Caillou come from? Is that like, is it British? Know. Is it? I, I don't know. I didn't go that far. I mean, I really, I don't know. I can't and remember it, his sister's name. I think it's like Beth or something. It's written like Calu too. So, so I, I had heard you speak about Caillou um, with the Ayers of a Thousand Sons, like when your kids were little, but I didn't put together who the Caillou was, but that was, that's the Caillou. Well, so, and that's why I was so conflicted as a parent because it was on PBS. Um, and so you like, that's really like gold standard of programming, right? Mm -hmm. And if you had your kids to be quiet for a couple of minutes and watch TV while you got something done as a parent, you're happy, right? So the kids, my kids liked it for whatever reason. Um, I didn't think it like might turn them into a little brat like Caillou. Thank goodness. I don't think they were like that. But, um, y you know, you just kind of like trusted PBS. But then when you like actually go and sit and watch it with your kids, you're like, what the? So talk parent to me for a second. How like these parents are like, oh, my gosh, it's the worst. Ah, I get it off. I can't believe. But if your kid's five, you should have some. Don't you have some sort of like authority over what's on the screens? Or like, uh, yeah, again, like you just put on PBS and you just want peace and quiet. So you don't really like necessarily watch it with your kids. It's not a show like, hey, family, let's get a bag of popcorn and watch this TV show. It's more like mom's got to take a poop and <laughs> I need the kids to sit still for a minute. Or mom just needs a minute to cry in a closet for you know, <laughs> get her ish together. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, that's, it's not for that. <laughs> You're bringing up a lot of old memories, Tommy. Mom needs a minute to cry in a closet. 
<laughs> oh, mom's out there. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> The kids love it though. Jen Brown's involved yeah. too. Um, so okay, so you like so this is where they say the kid was like the the, the TV is the babysitter, and you're just like, here, kid, like watch this. Yeah. I gotta go do something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jen Brown's with me too. Crying. <laughs> Yes. Her comment was crying in a closet. I know. Uh, am I helping you want to have kids, Tommy? Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> you had to sit through Caillou to get to Curious George. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, my God. The man in the yellow hat. Oh, oh, that's a cur Curious George I can get down with. That guy. I relate to that guy. I get I, him. Well, yes. But it, it, the man with the yellow hat also has a ton of patience because Curious George is a naughty little monkey. <laughs> Right. I, I get that guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see, I'll see all my moms are coming out in support. I like it. Uh, Beth says, I got you, Kelly. <laughs> Had many days in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it, Kelly. I know. I know. I was going to make a reference to you, but no. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, see, we promised giggles. We promised chortles. And I think we got some full belly laughs this morning. Holy cow. And there's still more ahead. There's, the comments are coming in. Oh, you guys are amazing. And um, coming up, this is awesome. We are going to speak to a woman who actually got the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, she's going to tell us about her story. She's going to tell us about um, the people she got She got it with. Uh, she's a local dentist, and she and her team celebrated the new year by getting vaccinated. And we will talk to Dr. Alex next. <laughs> 